Breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space with the first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter, Max Looney, is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Max? Thank you. I'm Max, reporting live from Webton Key. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country. End of point up. Unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real. Max, are you there? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space fiddle to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Brennan. What's happening there? Well, yes, it's very tense here. What we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell really awful, like a mixture of vomit and feces. It looks like one of the aliens is about to address us through a special translation device. People of Earth, listen carefully. We are the superior beings of Planet Slimeball from the galaxy of Shiny Toes. We demand from you humans the following things in no particular order. We want toenail clippings! A life supply of beans! And all, and your entire supply of blue soap. If you do not give us these things as soon as possible, we will destroy you with our radioactive lasers. You have three days, that is all. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross a parliamentary t reporter, Tom. Thanks, everyone. Crowds have gathered here, but many are still on their way to work. Some of the people are quite underwear. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up. Be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister to address the nation. This is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all friendly, friendly qualities that define us New Zealanders. We'll be out... We will be holding a poor video later today. Then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter ride of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will, will spare us from destruction and move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile and run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of, of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me? What should we all do? Okay, so this is what we should do first. We should make underwater bases. I completely disagree. I think that we should make underground bases. I have to disagree. Underwater bases are more efficient in every way possible. How? What does he do? They can just see the bases if they're underwater. Not if you put them deep enough, because if they're on land water, they'll be able to see them with the thermal vision thing. They can still... Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Jackson. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there is outrage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antennae for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are, where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury, where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. And in Dunedin... Oh. 
Creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and they should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide my basement. Back to you, Jackson and Matilda. <coughs> you poor P1. Oh, thanks, Raffi and Lu Lucy. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick. All the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow, if there is one. <laughs>